What's the cruelest prank you've ever seen? Friend of mine had a crush on his co-worker. It was sort of an open secret. His manager tried to help him. Offered advice. Some things to say. Small gifts she might be into. Etc. What no one knew at the time was that said manager and said co-worker had recently started dating and hadn't told anyone yet. So he meant it as a prank on his new girlfriend to be put into these awkward situations. But my friend's feelings were really hurt when it all came out. A group of girls at my high school told a girl that they were hanging out at one of their houses at 9 near a train station. But they really just made up a time and place that would make her stranded at the last train stop with no more trains home. In middle school a girl came up to us on the playground and told this dude to go see the principal. He's looking for you he got a call that your mom died. Then as soon as the dude ran away she told us all she just made it up. It was effing horrible. I feel like the girl wouldn't have a lot of friends after this. Yeah, she went from one of a clique of popular girls to pretty much an outcast. It was like weeks days before graduation anyhow. So I didn't really see a big fallout from it. But the guy was pretty messed up as a result at least for that last bit I knew him. A friend of a friend in high school had her boyfriend pretend that he died. He had one of his friends call her saying he had died in a car accident and had someone else calling up pretending to be a doctor from the hospital. She was hysterical. Later that day, after she kept asking the fake doctor which hospital it was so she could be there, she found out it was all prank to see if she cared. Horrible. Anyway, they broke up. To this day it's the nastiest prank I've seen in person. Had a friend do that too. To this day, I don't trust him when he says he had health issues because he had us all worried sick for weeks, saying he was having heart surgery on X day. The day of, I woke up to find a post on his socials from his dad saying that he died, that he was so scared before going under and now he wanted one last message. April Fools. I was so angry. Actually, no one was laughing cause this was not a short message it was 5 paragraphs long and I was crying when I got to the message. I still don't fully trust him and honestly remembering it makes me even angrier. In college, at the end of the year a club I was in had a roast of the outgoing seniors. My friend running the roast couldn't come up with anything for one of the guys, let's call him Ben, to drum up ideas. He called a bunch of Ben's close friends, also in the club, and asked them for things to make fun of Ben about, thinking this was a confidential conversation. They proceed to absolutely lay into Ben. The guy is seriously lame honestly, when I'm talking to a girl and he is there. It is supremely awkward. My friend simply recorded that whole conversation and played it outright for Ben's section of the roast mortifying Ben and all his friends simultaneously. Not only is that cruel, but what the f kind of friends does Ben have? If I was Ben, I wouldn't have had any friends left. Prank war going on in between two houses that were next to each other in San Diego. CA circa 2014. My cousin lived in one of the houses and this happened when I went to visit him a few years back. House number 1 pulled a prank that led to a member in house number 2 being late for his first day of work. It was collateral damage but the guy ended up getting fired for it. Guy who lost his job came home furious. He then took a 15 pound medicine ball and painted it to look just like a soccer ball. He tossed the medicine ball into the front yard of house number 1 and waited. When he saw the guy come out of the house he yells. Hey Josh can you kick that ball back over here? Dude proceeds to take a running start and square up and kick the soccer ball with every ounce of strength he had. Poor bastard went down almost immediately in tears and screaming. Ended up breaking three bones in his right foot. Just brutal. My. Ex. Friend thought it was a funny prank to kill my brother's hamster and tie it up and dress it in ridiculous ways. I remember reading somewhere. Probably on Reddit. That someone as a kid had a friend over who was a compulsive liar and was trying to convince him he had super speed. To prove it he said he was going to throw Arp's hamster as hard as he could and then go catch it before it hit the wall. Needless to say a few seconds later OP is standing there shocked as his hamster was flattened against the wall and immediately died. The kid apparently tried to play it off but when the mother came up and saw what happened she told him to leave and that he wasn't allowed to come back. I genuinely think we really need to watch out for kids like this. Kids that care more about being funny and impressing other kids than about the life of an innocent creature. Either they genuinely don't know that it's wrong to kill things which is horrifying or they do know but care more about themselves which is also horrifying. Happened to me. 
was at my first school dance in middle school, was always the shy kid, so I was surprised when one of the popular chicks came to ask me to dance, I said no because I was shy, but I was elated that I got asked, a few minutes later I'm in the bathroom stall and a few kids come in and start talking about how they paid her 10 bucks to ask me, and if I said yes she would have just tripped me and made me look dumb. I never went to another dance all throughout middle and high school, even prom. I have no idea what radio station this was on as I was only a kid, but they used to do prank phone calls. I have little to no recollection of many of them except this one, as even as a kid I could tell it was just wrong. The radio host rang up a woman and advised that he was the manager of her husband's company and he was very sorry to tell her that he had been involved in an accident with some heavy machinery and it had resulted in his death. As you would expect the woman was beside herself with being told her husband had just died. She was wailing on the phone and the radio host couldn't really get another word in to explain it was a joke. And then they just cut off the phone call and played a song. Even as a kid I knew it was a really stupid and cruel idea. And I'm pretty sure that was the last time they did a prank phone call. This happened to me. 7th grade during Valentine's Day we had candy grams and cutesy stuff we could send to our friends and obviously middle schoolers are sending them to their crushes. They would receive these candy grams during a class period as someone came by dropping them off. You could write a little message and then who it's from. I got one from this guy friend I liked and went up to him the next period and brought it up and said it was really cute and thanks. He looked a little confused but was like no problem. I felt kind of dumb after that and walked away. Just to find out the next day that it was one of my friends who sent it to me and just put his name on it to make it seem like it was him. I mean, at least he was nice enough to go along with it because he was just as confused. The first time I met my brother's new girlfriend she pulled me aside and started crying. She told me that she was pregnant but my brother wasn't ready to tell anyone. She asked me to check up on him cause he was really nervous. A couple days go by and I texted her to see how she was doing and if my brother was doing okay and if they needed anything. She asked me what I was talking about. I said the baby. She replied, oh, you believed me. I was only joking. I'm not pregnant. I can't believe you fell for that. This wasn't some teenager either. She was 30. Yes I told my brother. Yes. He still ended up marrying her. Almost 10 years later I still refuse to trust her. A friend of mine faked her suicide to get back at her boyfriend for April Fool's Day. I had helped her without knowing she was going that far. Her boyfriend had called her a slut and dumped her when she told him she was pregnant. Don't miss living in college dorms. Don't miss either of them. They sound like a lovely couple. When I was in 8th grade a thing called turtling and zip tying backpacks were popular. Well one day early in the year on the bus ride home a kid decided to zip tie a 6th grader's backpack to the leg of the chair which is welded to the floor. When he got up to leave and realized his backpack was stuck he started panicking trying to get it undone and eventually had to leave the backpack and he was stressing out saying his mom was going to freak out on him. He looked like he was about to cry. I remember this bullsh. Someone did something similar on my bus. Bus driver pulls out this knife and cuts the tie. She then looks around at everyone and says that if it ever happens again she is parking the bus and no one was leaving until someone admitted to being an idiot. That was the day we learned the bus driver had a knife and didn't F around. Everyone behaved for the rest of the year. I don't have a specific example in my life. But I've always thought those fake lottery tickets are cruel. Those people think their life is going to change. And then it's all yanked away from them while people laugh. Same energy as when a parent gifts their kids something in the box for an iPad switch something expensive and fancy. But it's really something shty and lame inside. The entire joke is, haha, you thought your dreams were coming true, but then they didn't. Look at us, a bunch of kidders, to toy with your emotions like that. A group of friends got together and one of the usuals, let's call him Eddie, didn't make it. Eddie texts asking what they are up to and they sarcastically respond celebrating your birthday without you. Lo and behold, it was coincidentally Eddie's birthday weekend and he had no birthday plans. Upon realizing this, the group bought and decorated a cake that read happy birthday Eddie and staged a series of fake birthday party photos to make him think they forgot to invite him to his own party. To keep the prank going, they dropped off the smashed, leftover cake on his doorstep. He still hasn't found out so they keep making elaborate stories as to why they forgot to invite him. 
I may have the conducted the most cruel prank without even meaning to. While in high school once a month or so there was a half day on a Friday. It was posted and scheduled in advance. My friend and I liked to remind each other in the halls. Loudly that it was half day. When it wasn't the right week. People would get excited and happy then after lunch they'd see me and remind me that I was an a-hole for getting their hopes up. Priceless and a harmless prank. One week we did this and I guess the right people overheard. A few kids parents were bus drivers. They called their parents to remind them it was a half day. Somehow it snowballed and at 11.30 buses had parked out front of every school in the district and they had to cancel the other half of the day because the bus service drivers were pissed to find out they had to cancel their plans for no reason. Principal called me and my friend to the office and said he knows it's our fault. But no one fact checked it and so it wasn't really our fault. He smiled and sent us on our way to enjoy our half day.